Fukuzaki, that scar is crazy as always. Aren't you embarrassed to show it? I don't mind showing these to you guys. My name is Yuichi Fukuzaki, and I'm a nerd. I don't get bullied, but my peers seem to like messing around with me. Ah, <sighs> this is why I hate P.E. I could just change in the bathroom, but then everyone's gonna make fun of me for being embarrassed about the scars. But it doesn't bother me too much, so I guess I'll be fine. <sighs> I guess I'll go to the place again, since there's nothing better to do. There's a place I always go to after people bother me at school. This place hasn't changed a bit since 10 years ago. There's nothing special here, but it's always so calming to be here. This insignificant place by the river has become my location for relaxation. Huh. I've never seen anyone else around here. It's not like there's a beautiful view or anything. I wonder what she's doing. I come here pretty often, but this is the first time I've seen her. Ten minutes later, she won't go home. I guess it's occupied for today. Uh, that was supposed to be a place of relaxation. Only for me. I couldn't relax much yesterday. I'm sure she won't be there two days in a row. I guess I'll try again after school today. Even though there was a possibility she'd be there again, I made the decision to visit the Riverside again today. However, I ended up meeting that girl earlier than expected. This might be sudden, but we have a new student. Hello, my name is Hitomi Sako. I'll try my best to blend in, so please be friendly with me. Wait, isn't that the girl that I met by the Riverside yesterday? Sir, do I still have some time? Yeah, just a little. I'll be answering three questions then. Please ask me anything. Do you have a boyfriend? I don't, but I have someone that I like. Do you have any hobbies? Hmm, I guess swimming. What an outgoing girl. I best be careful not to get too close to social people like that. The last question then. You, I'll answer your question. Huh? Me? But I haven't said anything or raised my hand. What's he gonna ask? I know, but I'll answer any question, so please ask. Hold up. People are gonna attack me if I ask the wrong question. Um, then, what kind of person would you want to date? Wow, that's a pretty good question. Ah, <sighs> thank God. I guess I've avoided any criticism. Hmm, I guess someone who'd protect me? That's a girlier answer than expected. Well then, I guess that's all the questions I can answer for now. Sir, where should I sit? Oh, Dale! The seat next to mine! I wanted to stay as far away as possible from someone who'd gather attention like her. All right. Why does Fukuzaki get to be next to her? So lucky. I look forward to sitting next to you. What's your name? Um, my name is Yuichi Fukuzaki. I'll call you Yuichi then. Uh, okay. She already called me by my first name. Hey, we're not done with Homeroom yet. This girl's communication skills are way more advanced than mine. Oh, sorry. Ever since then, a crowd would gather around Miss Sako, and I never spoke with her after that. <sighs> today was a hectic day. I mean, at least I get to relax alone today. Wow, you're here again. I guess the boy that came here yesterday was you too. Oh, Miss Sako. Just call me Seko. Well, it feels more natural to call you with a miss. Alright, then you can just call me that. Thank you. By the way, how did you know it was me you saw yesterday? Well, I noticed the moment we made eye contact when I walked into the classroom. I wanted to ask you right away, but I couldn't speak with you since a bunch of people started talking to me today. I saw. You were really popular. That only happens at the beginning. They're just interested in the new kid. Hmm, maybe. I feel like that isn't the case with Miss Sako. She's cute, and she's good with people, so there's no way she wouldn't be popular. I just come here to relax. What about you? I just came here in hopes of meeting him again. Huh? Meet who? Someone who saved me. Huh? Saved? Wait, is that about- Yeah, I almost drowned when I was in elementary school. But didn't you just move here? Did you live here when you were small? No, I've never lived here, but my grandma's house is around here. I ran out of my grandma's house and was playing alone in the river, but I accidentally entered a deep area. I couldn't swim at all back then, so I was drowning, but a boy came and saved me. Wow. What kind of boy was he? He was smaller than me, so I'd assume he was younger. But I was panicking, so I couldn't see his face. 
Oh, I see. That boy got badly injured by some broken glass on the riverside. A few adults noticed my screaming, and he was sent to the hospital. I was crying for a long time after that because of how shocked I was. And I ended up going home without being able to visit the hospital and see him. I see. I'd almost completely forgotten about that event. But I guess that girl is Miss Sako. Yuichi, if you come here often, have you ever seen someone like him? He's probably one or two years younger than me. Ah, I get it. I really was tiny back in elementary school, so I could just say that was me. But she'd probably be upset if she found out that her childhood hero became a nerd like me. Besides, I'd be a bit embarrassed to say I was the one who saved her anyways. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about him. I thought so, thank you. If you ever hear from your friends about him, please tell me. Alright. I'll be sure to tell you. I'll probably take this with me to my grave. But it's better than making her disappointed about me being him. A month after Miss Sako moved over to our school, I had still kept my secret to myself. Yuichi, how did you do on the test that came back earlier? I got an 80. How about you? Um, a 62? It's not a great or horrible score, so I don't know what to say. Hey, did you just think it was a mediocre score? I mean, it is sort of mediocre. Hey! Sorry, sorry! But I didn't know you were so smart. Can you tutor me? There are a bunch of people who are smarter than me, so I think it would be better to ask them. I want it to be you! If you insist. Miss Sako had already become the center of our classroom in just a month. On top of that, she treats everyone equally, including nerds like me. Miss Sako wasn't in the wrong at all, but there were some problems that would occur because of her kindness. Miss Sako! Wanna talk with me instead of Fukuzaki? Hmm, I'm talking with Yuichi right now, so maybe later. Oh, I see. Sorry. And please be kind to him, too. <laughs> Why is Miss Sako talking to a nerd like that? As you can see, since Miss Sako would talk to me out of kindness, a bunch of guys were starting to talk bad about me behind my back, out of jealousy. I mean, I guess my problems will go away as soon as she gets bored of me, or we change seats again. The next day, after school... Hey, Yuichi! Are you going to the river again? Yeah, I'm bored anyways. So I'm thinking of going. I'm going with you then! I still haven't given up on finding him! I'll see you there then! What? We can go together! Can I have a talk with you two? Huh? What's wrong? Don't be so alarmed. Unlike yesterday, I actually have something I need to talk with you two about. Oh, okay. What's the matter? I'm thinking of going to the pool next Saturday. But would you two want to come along? That sounds great! Aren't you coming with us, Fukuzaki? Why is Yamada asking me to come too? We aren't even friends! No, I'll pass. Oh yeah, I forgot that you have a giant scar on your back. I'd be too embarrassed to go to pools or beaches if I were you too. Ah, I knew something was wrong when he asked me to come with him. I guess he just wanted to make fun of me while asking Miss Sako out. Whatever, I'll just ignore him. <laughs> you're right. I'm not going, but the two of you go have fun. Yeah, we'll do that. Yamada, I'm not going either. Huh? But you said you were coming! You shouldn't call other people's scars embarrassing. Besides, I don't want to go out with someone who makes fun of others. Yuichi, let's go home together. Oh, yeah. Sako, wait! I'm sorry! I was wrong for that! I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. After that, Sako ignored Yamada and walked out of the classroom with me. Miss Sako, I really don't mind what he said. I... I may have gotten a bit too upset. No, thank you. Didn't you stand up for me? Well, yeah. I'm really happy that you did that for me. It was worth it then. That was a stressful encounter. Let's go over to the river. It's probably going to become a rumor if I go home with her today. But I guess there's no use. Yeah, but before that, can you please take off your shirt for me? Huh? I'm sorry. I think my ears are acting up. I'll say it again then. I need you to take your shirt off. I'm gonna go straight home for today. Why? Because some weirdo is being weird to me. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just want to make sure whether you're the boy who saved me that day. Ah, that's what you wanted to do. I thought you was a psycho for a second. But I don't think you could just decide by looking at the scars. Then why did you get the big scar? Um... Besides, didn't you go to that riverside since you were little? 
I guess I can't get away with lying anymore. I'm sorry. I'm the kid who saved you from drowning back then. I knew it! It was you! Why didn't you tell me? Well... Wait... Is it because... Wait... Why are you crying? Because your scar was getting made fun of earlier too! Maybe you were trying to keep me from knowing that you were getting made fun of because of your scar! That scar is all my fault! And you were trying not to make me feel guilty, right? But I was naive to say things like I want to meet you again, and that I wanted to see your back! I'm sorry you got a scar that won't disappear because of me. Miss Sako, please, calm down! I really don't care much about this scar. Huh? But were you hiding that scar because you didn't want to make me feel guilty? No, I was just kind of embarrassed. I can't just say that I'm the one that saved you and act as if I was some hero. I mean, I get that it would be hard to confess, but... Besides, I thought you'd be disappointed to find out that a nerd like me was the one who saved you. You said hero, so I didn't want to let you down or anything. Huh? What do you mean? That would never happen. You're nothing less than my hero, and my savior. Thanks. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Thank you for saving my life. After that, I decided to walk by the river after Miss Sako stopped crying. Do you remember how I said that I always come here to doze off and relax? The second time we met at this place? Yeah, I remember. I come here when I'm in need of some confidence, too. Huh? Really? Yeah. I've never regretted saving you. I think of it as a good deed I did. I come here whenever I want to remind myself that I'm capable of doing something for others. I'm glad I didn't become a bad memory for you. I was finally able to thank you after six years, but can I continue with what I have to say? Huh? Continue? Yeah, I was crying earlier so I couldn't finish what I needed to say. Do you remember what I said in my self-introduction? Huh? I remember your name. No, the type of guy I'd want to date. I want to date someone who would protect me. Yuichi, I want to date you. What? Don't be so surprised. Can you give me an answer? Um, uh, are you fine with dating a nerd like me? I need it to be you. Thank you. I really thought there was no hope in this world for someone like me, but as your man, I'll make sure to keep my head up. I've fallen in love with the way you can be so compassionate for others as well. Please, be my girlfriend. Of course! I was the one who saved Miss Sako in the past, but she was the one who came and saved me when I was the most in need of it. We may seem like polar opposites, but I'm confident that we'll build a strong and passionate bond with each other. My name is Kanto Narita, a freshman and a shy loner. I'm not good at talking to people, so I love to read, and I spend my breaks reading books. Gloomy as usual, huh? Is it fun to always be reading? Yes. I wish you'd just leave me alone. Sometimes some outgoing person who doesn't think well of me tries to talk to me and bother me. I try to be polite in order to not upset them, which would result in an even worse situation. Don't loners like you usually read more nerdy books? Are you trying to look smart? No. I was reading a fiction book. I read it because I like it. But these types of books seem more difficult than light novels. It must bother him a lot because I have good grades. Does it matter what Kento is reading? He's not bothering anyone. My classmate Misuzu Shinozaki helped me. Misuzu is my childhood friend and always helps me when someone's bothering me. Come on, I was just joking. I wanted to talk to Narita, so I was just teasing him. The outgoing guy laughed sheepishly and left. I guess he didn't want to argue with Misuzu. Misuzu's outgoing and has a lot of friends, so he doesn't want to be enemies with her. Thank you, Misuzu, for helping me. Don't worry about it. I'll protect you. I've always been in Misuzu's care since I was little. She would help me become part of the group or support me with things I was bad at. Even now, Misuzu acted as my protector. I know it's not okay for this to continue. I felt inferior to Misuzu. The one thing I was better at than Misuzu was grades. I would help her study before grades, but that didn't help me feel like I was equal to her. Someday, I wanted to be okay enough that I wouldn't need her help at all. Shinozaki? Everyone's going to karaoke after school today. Wanna come? Karaoke, huh? I could hear the popular group that Misuzu was part of having this conversation. I quit reading and looked over. 
Miss Suzu, you should come once in a while. Hmm, I'm sorry, I can't go. Let's go another time. Why? Do you hate karaoke? No, but I have plans with Kento. Because Misuzu said my name, all of the popular boys glared at me. I hurriedly looked at my book. Narita again? You're always talking about him, but you're not dating him, right? Yeah, but I can't just leave him alone. Okay, then do you want to invite Narita? If Narita comes, will you? Huh, really? Yeah, if Narita says he wants to come. He said so, but I didn't miss his face grimacing. He probably doesn't want me to come. He just couldn't flat out say no in front of Misuzu. Narita, do you want to go to karaoke with us after school? Shinozaki's coming too. One of them came to my desk to ask me. If I go, Misuzu goes. Maybe because he was speculating, but he had a complicated look on his face. Sorry, I don't like karaoke. Don't worry about me. Go with Misuzu. I didn't want to go knowing that they didn't want me there. I thought I would at least get Misuzu to go so they wouldn't hate me, but Misuzu wouldn't allow that. If Kento isn't going, I'm not either. Don't worry about me. You should go. No, it's okay. Sorry guys, let's go next time. Misuzu ended the conversation. The popular kids didn't press any further and acted like this conversation had never happened. You had a chance to get closer to everyone, but you wasted it. While I was walking home with Misuzu, she brought up what had just happened. I can't go, even if you say so. It was because they didn't want me there, but also because it was a big hurdle to hang out with the popular kids. You should have just forgotten about me and gone. If I leave you alone, you'll be all alone. You need me. You worry too much. I didn't like that she was kind of treating me like a child, but I couldn't say anything about it when I thought about how much she had helped me in the past. You're not going to get a boyfriend or anything? Huh? What are you talking about all of a sudden? I wasn't sure, but it seemed like one of the boys from the popular group liked Misuzu. Even I thought Misuzu was cute, and she was friendly, so it wouldn't be weird if she was popular. There's a possibility that she's been asked out before, but I just didn't know about it. I just thought that because you worry about me too much, I was getting in the way of your friendships and relationships. You don't have to worry about that. What about you? Don't you want a girlfriend? I... If I could have a girlfriend, I would have one. I was interested in having a relationship, but because I wasn't able to make any friends, it seemed impossible to make a girlfriend. Yeah, you couldn't get a girlfriend. But don't worry, if you never get a girlfriend, I'll take care of you, okay? Does that mean that she would be my girlfriend? She said it so casually, I thought it was a joke. But knowing her personality, she really might not get a boyfriend until I got a girlfriend. I don't want to cause Misuzu any more trouble. I do have a girlfriend, so you don't have to look after me anymore. What? I lied, so I wouldn't hold Misuzu back. Misuzu looked surprised. But there's no way she'll believe me. She'll know I was lying right away. At least, that's what I thought. But Misuzu did something totally unexpected. Wait a minute. When did you get a girlfriend? You never acted like you did before. Misuzu started shouting at me, and I thought she was going to grab me. Maybe if I do this right, she'll believe me? I decided to do so, and continued with the lie. Um, I didn't think it was something that needed to be said. Why wouldn't you say anything? Think about how much I take care of you. You need to tell me something that important right away. It, is it really that important? It's not like you found me a girlfriend, so I don't think it really matters. Who is this person that you're dating in secret? Someone you don't know. You wouldn't know even if I told you. Where did you meet someone that I don't know? No, just tell me. That's... She doesn't really exist. There's no way I could explain. I thought really hard and desperately made up a fictitious girl. I, I met her on the internet. You know, at an offline meeting. We were gaming friends and got along really well. And when we met in person, she was super gorgeous and in college. And when I asked her out, she said yes. Kento, were you playing online? This is the first time I've heard about it. Even I play video games. 
Anyways, it's not like I see her a lot, so of course you wouldn't know about her. I'm not interested in video games. This might be an impossible explanation for Misuzu. She knows that. But in order to make the fictitious girl someone she could never meet, this is the only thing I could come up with. I can't believe it! You had the courage to ask someone out! Misuzu seemed shocked. She really does know me well. She couldn't believe that I would be the one to ask someone out. I thought it was impossible to keep tricking her, but it seemed that Misuzu believed me. You shouldn't believe someone you met on the internet. Kento, are you sure she's not tricking you? You shouldn't date someone like that. Huh? What are you saying? The internet is a hotbed of scammers. She's probably going to make you buy some weird base and then dump you. That's really prejudiced of you. I'm just worried about you. You're a good person and super gullible. That's rude. Even I'm not that thoughtless. You should know I'm totally against this. Hey, Misuzu! Misuzu left me and ran off. I don't know why, but she seems really mad. I thought she would be happy for me if I got a girlfriend, but I'm perplexed that things turned out this way. I went home and was studying when the doorbell rang. Misuzu, what's up? After what just happened, I thought she was here again to complain, but she said something unexpected. Kento, let me stay over tonight. Huh? Why? Because we're friends. Besides, I used to stay over a lot when we were kids. If mom says it's okay, then it's fine. But why would you want to stay over here? All right, I'm coming in. Hey! Without telling me why, Misuzu came inside. It's not like I told her she could stay over, but she had brought her sleepover bag like it was already decided. Kento, were you studying? Yeah. You're not going to play that game? What? I understood why Misuzu had come over. She probably came over because I told her I was dating a girl from an online game. But I've never played that game. I was in trouble if she told me to show her it, so I tricked her. I don't play it every day. My girlfriend is in college, and students need to prioritize studying. You're a good student. I don't even study unless it's before a test. Misuzu knows I study every day, so I think she bought it. You do always ask me to help you right before a test. If you studied every day, you wouldn't have such a hard time. I know you're right, but I don't like it. Well, I don't think there's anyone who studies because they like it. I study just because. Don't you get tired of studying all the time? I'm used to it, so I'm fine. Here, lay down. I'll help you relax. Oh, you don't have to. Don't worry about it. I don't know what she was thinking, but I laid down like Misuzu told me to. She started massaging my back and shoulders. Why are you doing this? Hmm, how is it? Does it feel good? It feels good, but I feel bad. You'll do it for me next, so it's fine. Huh? Like I said, once I'm done, you massage me too. Are you tired? You could have just told me you wanted a massage. You didn't have to massage me first. I feel bad making you do it for free, so this is payment in advance. How fair. I thought about what was up when she suddenly started massaging me, but it seems like she wanted one too. Still, we've never given each other massages before, so this was still a confusing development. All right, your turn. After she massaged me, we switched roles. I started pushing on Misuzu's back like she had done for me. Ouch! Sorry! I'll be more gentle. Misuzu suddenly yelled, so I jumped. Hmm. As punishment, I'm adding ten more minutes. Fine. I picked myself up and restarted massaging her but I still couldn't figure out the right amount of pressure to apply, and I made Misuzu yelp in pain a couple more times. I'll make dinner. Misuzu, are you really planning on staying the night tonight? Both my parents work, so I still haven't gotten permission from my mom. I think she's planning on making dinner to convince her. Of course, that's why I'm here, and I'll help around the house. I bet she wants to watch me play my online game, but that in itself is a lie so I'm not planning on playing. I already told her I don't play every day, so even if she says she wants to see it, 
I'm planning on telling her that I'm not playing today. Even if she stays the night, she has nothing to gain. Still, she'll probably say I'll play after she leaves and won't listen. Since I knew Misuzu's personality, I gave up and decided to let my mother decide if Misuzu could stay the night. Afterwards, my mom came home, and she quickly agreed to let Misuzu stay. We originally all used to hang out as a family, so we all gathered around the dinner table. This is delicious! You're a good cook, Mizuzu! Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Now that I think about it, it was the first time I had eaten Misuzu's cooking. I just hadn't had the opportunity, but I simply liked her food. Kenta, what do you think? It's good. It's the first time I've had your food too, so it's cool. Good enough that you'd want to eat it every day? Well, no, not that much. So this food doesn't satisfy you? Fine, I'll practice more and I'll make you say you're satisfied! Uh, okay... It's plenty good, but I guess she didn't like my answer. I don't think she needs to make my preferences the standard, but it seems like she wants to be a better cook, so I decided not to say anything. She even prepared the bath. She really did it all. Even if she didn't do anything, my mom would have let Misuzu stay. But besides the cooking, Misuzu also did the other housework. And at her behest, I took the first bath. I'm sure she wants to take a bath too, so I'll finish mine quickly. I got out of the bath sooner than usual since I thought Misuzu wanted to take one too. While I was changing in the bathroom, Misuzu suddenly came in. Huh? You're done already? She seemed surprised when she saw me wearing my pajamas, but she surprised me too. You're gonna scare me coming in like that! If you were any earlier, we would have run into each other. Um... So... Misuzu looks uncomfortable. She was holding her change of clothes. I thought it was possible that... Misuzu? Were you planning on getting in the bath with me? N no I just... I thought I would wash your back for you. What are you thinking? We're too old for that! Misuzu clearly looked upset. Today I got out early. But if I was in there like usual, she would have come in while I was in the bath. Whatever. We used to take a bath together when we were little. We're childhood friends. Washing your back is normal. What's normal about that? Do you have no sense of danger? You don't have the guts to try anything. You don't think anything of taking a bath together anyway. Of course, I wouldn't do anything, but you never know. You suddenly came to stay the night, and now this? You're being weird. N no, I'm not. I want to take a bath too. So get out. Hey! She pushed me out of the bathroom like we were finished talking. If I went back in now, it would seem like I was trying to peep, so I couldn't continue the conversation any further. Really, what is she up to? While she didn't succeed, I couldn't figure out why she did what she did. Because of the bath incident, it was awkward between Misuzu and me. Even if we were in the same room, we barely spoke, and only time passed. It became time to go to sleep, and Misuzu headed to the guest room, so we could each sleep in our room. What was Misuzu's goal? I thought she came to get a look at my internet girlfriend, but she only asked about that once when she got here, and hadn't brought it up since. She came to sleep over and do housework, tried to come into the bathroom when I was taking a bath, I couldn't understand anything she was doing. I was worried and couldn't fall asleep. Then I could hear the door to my room open. Was it Misuzu? I didn't know what to say to her, so I pretended to be asleep. So then the covers were lifted up and someone came into my bed. Someone's cold hand grabbed my arm and I couldn't not react anymore. What are you doing? When I turned around, as I thought, it was Misuzu who had come into my room. Oh, you're awake. She looked surprised. Doing something like this would of course wake me up. But I guess she was trying to do it secretly. Misuzu? Why are you doing this? Because... I wanted to sleep with you. I don't understand. It's... It's your fault. Even though you have me, you went and got yourself a girlfriend off the internet who seems... Suspicious. What does that have to do with you? 
I've been waiting for you to ask me out. Huh? I froze after hearing this unexpected confession. I've always liked you since we were kids. I've been looking out for you all this time. How could you not know? Well, you did look out for me, but I thought that was because you felt like you needed to mother me or something. Of course I did it because I like you. Because I wanted to be close to you. That's why I did all those things. Oh. I was wrong from the start. Because Misuzu was always helping me out, I didn't think she could see me in a romantic way. Kento, do you like a girl you see sometimes more than me? Sorry, I was lying about that. I thought that because of me, you wouldn't get a boyfriend. So I thought that if I said I had a girlfriend, you would feel free to have relationships. You were lying? So you don't really have a girlfriend? I don't have the guts to get a girlfriend. You know that, right? Well, I do, but I thought if it was over the internet, even you could do it. I don't even like playing video games. I didn't think you would actually believe me. I knew it. So it's not like you got a new hobby. But why do you even like me? To be honest, I have an inferiority complex towards you. You're so outgoing and popular, and have so many things that I don't. I don't think I'm enough for you. Kento, you're good at studying, and I'm not. Whenever we have a test, you always work hard to teach me. And you've always helped me out too, you know? And you're nice and genuine. Of course I like you. So much so that I think it's weird that more people don't like you. I didn't know you felt that way. I didn't think I was helping you out much by teaching you, but it's nice to know that I was. I like you, Kento. Kento, what do you think about me? I don't know what to say. I never saw Misuzu that way. Even though we cleared up this misunderstanding, that didn't change right away. I think of you as my precious childhood friend. But because I'm like this, I don't think I want to make you my girlfriend. But if you can wait until I gain more confidence, then I want to face up to your feelings for me. I think you're great as you are. But this is like you. I won't hold back anymore. So you better make sure to face me when the time comes. Misuzu came close to my lips. What are you doing? I told you we're not dating yet. I told you I wasn't holding back anymore. I'm going to be so loving with you. You're only going to be able to think about me. When I thought about the bath incident and how she came into my bed, she really does do what she has decided to do. That was so like her. Please, be gentle with me. There were some things I misunderstood, but because we've known each other for so long, there were so many more things we understood about each other. The day when we become more than childhood friends is probably not far off. Kato, I have crayon school today, so you can head home first. First is you talking to is me, Kato Kurahashi. She's my childhood friend, Kami Kosaka. We've been dating for a year, but to be honest, I don't think it's going well. She can be pretty blunt and cold at times. Do you think we could walk together halfway? Huh? Why? It's a waste of time, so you don't have to come. A waste of time? I heard a normal combo would be happy with just being together. However, according to my girlfriend, she thinks it's strange to be together if there's no reason. It is what it is. We are dating because we're childhood friends. Uh, can we even call this dating? On the way home, I was stressing over our relationship in my head. <laughs> Senpai! Hmm? Oh, Sayuri-chan. This is Sayuri Ichizen-chan, and she's been on the school committee since middle school. She's also my junior. She's friendly with everyone and has strong communication skills, so she talks with me like this all the time. What a coincidence! <laughs> the fact I was able to see you means today will be a good day. Well, <laughs> even though school's already over. <laughs> Her bright personality sure is something. She's a cute junior to me, and being with her is fun. So anyway, are you by yourself today? Ah, uh, <laughs> Akemi has cram school today, so she already went home. But don't you both go the same way for a bit? Yeah, but it seems like she doesn't want to walk home with me. <sighs> I've been thinking this for a while now, but can you guys really say that you're dating? 
<laughs> well, I did confess. That's because you like Kosaka-senpai, but is dating her fun? Well, um... <sighs> to be honest, it isn't. Huh? Well, uh, how about you go out with me instead? Huh? What's with this all of a sudden? I like you. I really like you a lot. I love you. I understood that you liked Kosaka-senpai, so I've been holding out all this time. But even if your feelings have been realized, I can't hold back if you're having a tough time. I'm confident I can make you happier than Kosaka-senpai. So break up with Kosaka-senpai and go out with me. To be honest, I was really surprised. I thought she was just getting attached to me, but I didn't imagine she would confess to me. And I didn't think she would fall in love with me. Um, sorry, I have a Kenny. But didn't you say being with her isn't fun? It's not good to be in a forced relationship. <sighs> sorry, give me some time to think about it. This isn't something I can just give an answer to right away. I understand. I'll be waiting for your answer. Thanks. After that, we went our separate ways, and I headed home. <sighs> Did I go too far? While I was in my cram school, the image of Kato's sad face wouldn't leave my mind. It's been a year since we started dating, but we don't act like a couple. Oh, I'm not that good with romance, but... That we would do a bunch of things after we got married. <laughs> oh, I just have to hold out until then. I'm in love with my childhood friend, Kato. When I'm with him, I go wild, so I'm keeping my distance and resisting. I'll promise to have a healthy relationship. I'm sure Kato will understand. When I left my cram school... Ah, you're finally done! Echizen-san, why are you here? This girl is after Kato's heart. She's friendly with everyone, but I can't let my guard down with her. I can't tell what she's thinking deep down. In order to avoid future problems, I thought I'd come and tell you something. So that's why I waited for you outside. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? Just a while ago, I asked out Kato-senpai. What? What are you thinking? Kato is my boyfriend, you know? But you aren't acting like a couple at all. That... that has nothing to do with you. Uh, nothing to do with me? Oh, on the contrary. Are you fine with the person you like having a sad expression on their face? Uh, because you're so cold to Kato-senpai, he's sad. So if I instead make Kato-senpai happy, there's no problem, right? But... Uh, but what about Kato's feelings? Uh, I'm sure Kato would turn you down. <laughs> True, he did turn me down once. However, he said that it wasn't any fun dating you. What? So after he pointed that out, he told me to give him some time to think about it. N no way, Kato. <laughs> Whatever happens, don't hold a grudge, since you're the one who brought this upon yourself. And with that, she walked away. <sighs> she probably believes she'll be chosen. And I... Keijo? Akami-chan is here. Huh? Akemi's here? Why is she here at this time of night? I don't know, but she looked pretty serious. So serious? Could it be she wants to break up? But why so suddenly? This was such a sudden development, and I didn't know what was going to happen. However, I had a guess. What's up, Akemi? Keito? Um... It looks like it's hard for her to say. Would she really be breaking up with me? I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, Kemi? I'll apologize for everything, so don't get rid of me. C calm down. Kato, why would you? You got it wrong. I wouldn't do something like that. Then can you explain why Akami-chan is acting like this? Well, first, uh, let me have a talk with Akemi. It looks like you'll only complicate things if you're here, Mom. Ah, uh, Kato, you... I ignored my mom and took Akemi to my room. What's with this all of a sudden? Well, you got asked out by Echizen-san. <gasps> Why do you know about that? Echizen-san told me. What was she thinking going out of her way to tell Akemi that? Please, Kato, don't dump me. I'm not dumping you, but... Honestly, I thought you were fed up with any affection from me. It's not like that. I love you. Huh. Even though she didn't act like that at all. Then why were you acting so cold towards me? <sighs> I like you too much. So in order not to go crazy, 
I put some distance between us. If I didn't, I might throw myself on you. <sighs> That's right. That's the kind of girl she is. Kemi is usually the cool type, but sometimes she overthinks things and can be pretty airheaded. This happened a lot in the past. If that was the case, you could have at least told me. I was embarrassed to say it. I thought, since we're childhood friends, I thought you would get it, even if I didn't say anything. No, if you don't tell me, I won't know. Sorry. No, I'm not blaming you. I just want you to be honest from now on and to not overthink things. If I'm honest from now on, you won't toss me aside? I said I won't do that. I'm not breaking up with you, so relax. Sorry, Sayuri-chan, but I like a Kemi-chan. So tomorrow, I'll turn her down. Keito, thank you. There's no need to thank me. Anyway, have you calmed down? <laughs> uh, hey, can I say something selfish? Yeah, what is it? I want you to hug me tight and pet me on the head. Huh? But you don't really like to be touched, right? Hmm, I've been trying my best to stay sane, but I want you to dote on me. I don't want you to be taken away from me by Edges and San because we haven't done anything coupley. Kemi, it's all right. I won't betray you. Is this okay? Yep. <laughs> when I hugged her and patted her head, Kemi let out a satisfied voice. Kemi might be the type that craves attention. And after being sweet to a Kemi... Can I spend the night? She started demanding even more. Um, well, that's a bit... Isn't that bad? But I want to stay the night. I'll eat dinner with you and even take a bath, so is it a no? Uh, well, uh, let me ask my mom. After losing to a Kemi's puppy dog eyes, I asked my mom if she could stay. The results... Oh, sure. It's okay. She quickly gave the okay. Even though she knows Kemi from when she was a baby, I think she said okay too easily. But Akemi is happy, so I guess it's all right. After that, Akemi made a stop at her house. <laughs> this is nice too. And when she got back, she naturally clung on to me. She really loves the attention. Akemi, you're like a whole other person. It's because I stopped holding back. Oh well, this Akemi is way cuter anyway. After this, I continue to dote on Akemi. We're sleeping together too? I'm spending the night, so if we don't sleep together, there's no point. Well, what I'm trying to say is I get it, but... Seems like she's missed the mark. She's just doing as she pleases. That's how it felt. Kato? Hmm? What's up? You're going to turn down Edgy's and Sen, right? Of course I am, as I have you. <sighs> That's good. Akemi seems really concerned about Sayuri-chan. Uh, that's expected. If it was me, I think I would feel uneasy if Akemi was asked out by another guy. In order for her to be relieved, I have to hurry up and turn down Sayuri-chan. While I was thinking, I heard Akemi's cute snoring. So I didn't do anything else but close my eyes. Next day. Sorry for making you come all the way up to the roof after school. I called Sayuri-chan to the roof. Of course, it was to give her the answer to her confession. Oh, you sure are quick to decide. She didn't have to rush. You could have given me your answer any time. No, I couldn't do that. It was better to be quick and concise with this. Oh, I see. Well, I'm listening. Okay, I won't date you. I like Akemi more than anyone. I can't do her any injustice. Huh? But you said dating her isn't fun, right? Even with that said, you still want to date her? It's true, when you asked me the other day, I did say it wasn't fun. But I had a talk with Akemi and we worked it out. So now, being with her is really fun. I see. <laughs> That's great, everything went well. Huh? Sorry, Senpai. My confession to you was a lie. What? Wh what do you mean? Anywho, Kozaka Senpai, don't you think it's time to come out now? You realized I was here? It was obvious. I guess Akemi was afraid and came to hear my answer. Since she was caught, she quietly walked over next to me. All right, where should I begin? Forget explaining anything. Is it true that your confession was a fake? <sighs> to be honest, I thought you liked Keito since middle school. I do, though. <laughs> In a lovey-dovey way, of course. 
Huh? Wh what do you mean? I haven't said anything strange. I do like him. But the confession was a lie. <sighs> I really want to date him, but there's no way I'd ask him out. I don't get it. If you like him, then the confession wasn't fake, right? It's not limited to just that, you know. Uh, then there was no meaning behind your confession? <laughs> no, there was. Your relationship got better, didn't it? So in other words, you instigated conflict in order for our relationship to get better? But there's nothing in it for you. But didn't I say, are you fine with the person you like having a sad expression on their face? I didn't like seeing Senpai with such a sad face. <sighs> Senpai only has eyes for you. So I thought this was the best way to mend your relationship. And you found out that you love Kato Senpai. When we were in middle school, you casually showed off your appeal. Casually showing your appeal? I, I, don't, I don't know. Based on this reaction, she really did that. I didn't realize it though. And that's why Sayuri-chan thought she couldn't mend our relationship. Well, if things didn't go well and Senpai really did choose me, <laughs> I thought about having him for myself. <sighs> but I'm glad that things went well. Try not to make Keito Senpai sad from here on, Kosaka Senpai. All right, I'm getting out of here. After saying that, she left the roof. It seems like she had us in the palm of her hand. <sighs> Keito... I'll make you and Echi Zen happy, so stay with me forever, okay? Of course. I'll do my best to make you and Sayori Chan happy as well. So I'll be looking forward to things with you from here on, Akemi. Yeah, <laughs> likewise, Kato. So thanks to our cute junior, we were able to mend our relationship. The days went on and we became a super flirty couple. I was shocked by Sayori Chan, but she gave us her blessing. So I think everything turned out fine. Big bro, shall we get going for school? So that's me, Yoma Ito. I have a sister that's one year younger than me. She's really quite cute. An angel, you could say. She just got into high school this year, but is still spoiled for affection, which is kind of cute. How's school? Getting used to it? Mm-hmm. Not yet. There's nobody I could chat with. See, Mio's quite shy and quite around others, so... It's sort of difficult engaging a convo with someone she's still not fond with. That's why whenever she's introduced to a new environment, such as just entering high school, making friends could be a bit challenging for her. Make sure to take things slow, okay? Um, <laughs> okay. How about we have lunch together until you make friends with somebody? <laughs> really? Yeah, sure thing. Because you're simply the best, Mio. <laughs> Love you, big bro. Hey there, Ito! Oh? Um, probably your... Misa Amakusa! I'm in the same class as you, Ito! Amakusa? Um, what's the matter? So, Ito! Like, you really love your brother a lot, right? What? Why say that? I spotted you this morning while commuting to school, being all friendly with each other. Something about, like, you getting these head pouts from him, I think. <laughs> right. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing. Oh, don't be, it's alright. Being close to their siblings a good thing if you ask me. Is it? Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, by the way, what do you do for fun, Mio-chan? You're casually calling me... Mio-chan? Wanna be friends? After all, we're in the same class already, so... Make sure to call me Misa-chan, okay, Mio-chan? <laughs> uh, uh-huh, Misa-chan? Yep, so what are your hobbies, Mio-chan? Um, reading books? Oh, I would've guessed so. Like, what kind of books are you into? Um, shoujo mangas, even novels too. Right, that sounds fun. Oh, I wanna know more about you. After that, you'd see Mio chat with her at every recess. A few days later... Excuse me! Hello! This sort of bubbly girl came into our house. If you ask me, she seems like Mio's new friend. Uh, hello, you can call me Hiyoma. I'm Mio's brother. Great to see you're hanging out with Mio. Thanks for that. Hi! I'm Misa Amakusa. No, really, I should be the one thanking her. 
<laughs> Big Bro's kinda older than us, but I don't think having a casual convo with him's gonna be a problem. Sure thing! Yeah, I wouldn't really mind. Okie dokie! Um, so, you can call me Misa-chan then. Uh, but that's a little... Oh, you're Mio-chan's brother, so I'm really okay with it. Wouldn't mind you being overly familiar with me. Is that so? It's a surprise Mio made friends with someone that easily. I can't help but wonder why. But now I understand. She really has a way with words. So, it was her, Misa Makusa. Actually, her name rings a bell because she's popular among the sophomores. More so, she's pretty known for being the cutest in her school. Well, to me, my sister Mia's the bestest, though. Okay, then, I'll be minding my own business. Make yourself at home, Misa Chan! Oh, are you going somewhere else? Yeah, I'm heading back to my room, so. Really? Oh, we could all hang out together then! Huh? But. You'd love to, right, Mio chan? Uh, yep, uh, should be okay. How about it? I mean, if you two wouldn't mind that, sure. So, what are we gonna do? Playing video games sounds like a good idea! <laughs> In that case, we could do that in Mio's room. And so we all went to Mio's room. Wow, it's been a while since we last played together, Mio! Ah, oh, is that so? Well, Big Bro goes easy on me whenever we play video games, so that's why we rarely play together. Ah! Oh, he probably just wants you to take all the glory when he feels better, right? I guess so. Something like that. I mean, yeah, I can't go all out on my sister who's all adorable and suffering a real loss. I bet she'll cry, so... But really, I want to play a serious match, too. I see. Your brother's the real deal. A sis Khan who doesn't hold back with his words. Simply well. Huh? Isn't this normal? Really don't think I'm someone who has a sister complex at all, isn't it? Whoa, we got a serious case over here. Yep, so nevertheless, I hope you'll give your best shot against me. Just so you know... I'm really strong at video games. <laughs> we'll see, then I'll do my best! So yeah, I ended up taking up Misa Chan's challenge. After being sort of provoked like that, I decided we'd go for a racing game. The result? <laughs> this can't be true! Me? Totally crushed! <laughs> I, I lost pretty hard too. <laughs> So, yeah, maybe I should have chilled a bit. One! One more! That earlier? That's gotta be a fluke somehow! Just one more! I'll definitely bag this one! Pretty please! Okay then, rematch it is! Uh, whenever you're ready. M me too. I'll do my best. And so, we had a rematch. <laughs> we were totally annihilated! How? Why? <laughs> Why am I losing like this? Mio took our race seriously, even coursing through the usual routes. Didn't even bother for the shortcuts. Misa-chan took the shortcuts, but relied heavily on using items. She kind of stacked on navigating the course, so that gave me the opportunity to accelerate further than her. Well, it's really just a game. Running my mouth off wouldn't do anything. Then you guys up for one more race? Uh, of course! Honestly, those were just two wins, and you're already bragging off. That's not nice of you, big bro. I'm not bragging about my wins here. Mio-chan, I never thought you'd be this competitive, huh? Nope, I'm not that competitive at all. Mio's quite innocent, quiet, and overall nice, but believe me, she's this competitive. If anything, she's gonna challenge you until she wins. That's why you're really proud of bagging a win against her, is that it? Not really. I'm not that competitive than you'd imagine. She's sulking. That's adorable. Mio, she's just the cutest thing in this world. Hey, forget that. Together, we should be having a rematch now. Brace yourself. You're in for a world of heart this time. Whoa, you're really brimming it with confidence, huh? Video games, sports, they're all the same. It's all about that winning mindset. You're into sports too, Misa-chan? Nada! The only thing I do is head back home as soon as the bell rings. 
This girl is kind of an airhead? No, she's probably doing this on purpose. Time passed and we were still doing games all day. The outcome was... <laughs> you never told me. I hate you, big bro. Not even begging one win, Mio turned to my lap, where she continued to pout all over her loss. Despite her appearance, my little sister is somewhat of a sore loser. There, there. Hmm? Is something wrong? Uh, no. Anyhow, you're really strong, huh, big bro? My first time losing this bad to someone. You often play video games? No! Barely at all! Cause whenever I play with my friends, though, I hardly lose any games at all! I... I see. Yeah, that confirms it. This girl might be an airhead. Oh well. Mio, you okay? It's nothing. Oh, wait, I'm gonna need to leave for a while. Sure, go ahead. She seems somewhat jittery. Without dilly-dallying, Mio left the room in a hurry. Any idea what's wrong with Mio? Look, a girl leaving her seat without saying anything? That's probably pointing out to that single thing. Could this mean... She talking to a different dude? Come again? There wasn't even a single sign hinting such a thing, right? No, I mean... She was kind of fidgety over something earlier, though. Surely that was over something else. No, she's already in high school. Pretty sure it's more likely she's been dating a boy. Probably two boys at the moment. No, that can't be. Dating two at the moment? That would totally cause a ruckus. Meal two timing. That's unthinkable. Yeah, right. Mia's simply too cute. I guess by now a lot of boys are fawning over her already. And these guys are imposing advances towards Bio. She might have no choice but to give in to them. Gosh, you siscon of a big bro, that's all nonsense! Do you really think Mio Chan's this type who will do such things? Look, I'm telling you, Mio texting a boy? Your hunch is way off here! Then tell me, why did she leave in a hurry? Um, yeah, so about that, you know, probably like nature's call? Yeah, you're right. Well, we're siblings. Wish you could have just told me. Like, I'm currently together with you guys, so we'll set that aside for now. More importantly, I have some sort of favor to ask you, big bro. Huh? What is it? Just to warn you, I'm not lending you any money. Aw, big bro. What kind of person do you take me for? It's not about that. Like, uh, it's... Mm, could you be my big brother too? What? Why? I'm an only child. I really wanted to have an older brother for a long time. As you can see, I mean, having an older brother right now is impossible. That's why. You're Mio's big bro. But I want to have a big bro. I want to be spoiled. And pampered, too. Yeah, um, we're not real siblings. Plus, coddling you, um... Do you have the heart to say those words? Let's say in the event, you meet your stepsister. S-stepsister? They're a totally rare case, but you know someone in this world, someone's parents would have a second marriage where you'll end up meeting a stepsister of your own. These people, they get along as siblings. Well, even have quarrels as siblings, so... You're willing to shun somebody away just because they do not share the same blood as yours? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, I get it. Feels different when you say it that way. Right? So right back on our topic. I want to be your sister and be pampered too. Pretty please? Uh, um... Just why me? There's a lot of dudes who would want a younger sister. You can go ahead and... I saw how you cherished me, Ochan. That made me really jealous of her. Moreover, Mio-chan has a brother who fondly cares for her. That was very sweet. Nice of you, I thought. And then seeing how you consoled and pampered Mio-chan today, too, while playing. That's it. So, Yoma, you're the only big bro I could ever wish for. Uh, this girl... She's a bold one. So that's it. Please? I would love to be your sister, too. Won't you pretty please? Uh, all right. We'll give it a try. Really? Thank you so much. So yeah, coddling a younger sister. 
I mean, what am I supposed to do? Like the same as you pamper me, chan Hmm, why I pamper her? It's sort of something I subconsciously do, though. <laughs> Fine, then. I want to have some pets, please. S uh, something like this? Uh. <laughs> uh, she's cute. Wow, her reputation as the school's number one Madonna really isn't just all hearsay, huh? Being struck with that coy, sweet expression of hers, I'd say she's still pretty cute even if she wasn't my sister. Yo, that's a mean trick to play on somebody. I mean, being this cute. <laughs> my pets, please. St uh, hold on, you're clinging onto me. Does that really bother you? Should be okay, right? Cuddles, please. What? No, this is really bad. Asking to be pampered like my own sister, even though in reality she wasn't one. And let alone the fact that I had just met this girl today. Especially if she embraces me like this. You can't help but be wary how a girl is under you. C could you let go for a sec? Nope. My coddles, please, big bro. Uh, do I really have a choice here? <laughs> Thank you so much. So I got carried away coddling Misa-chan, and then... What are you doing, big bro? Mio just got back. Worse, she caught me red-handed at the scene. No, so this is what you see... Miao-chan, I can explain. <sighs> mm. Mio? Misa-chan, Big Bro's mine. No stealing. Mio? Big Bro, you, you should have known better. You can't have any other bestest little sister. She looked really jealous. It's my first time seeing this side of Mio. Miao-chan, look. I am not stealing him from you or anything. I just want to be pampered too, as Big Bro's little sister. Why? You're not his little sister though, Misa-chan. Big Bro is my one and only dearest brother. Um, see, I just wanted to feel spoiled too, and so... So, why don't you go ahead and be his girlfriend? Should be fine even if you're not his sister. Neo! Are you hearing yourself? You don't understand. It's because we're siblings! We're relatively blooded, that's why I can't even marry you! However, it's totally different for me, Sajan! And that I don't want to be the only spot I fit in to be stolen by somebody! So she can even go ahead and marry you! It won't be a problem as long as she's your girlfriend! Miyo-chan... Uh, no... It's not that I want Misa-chan to be my girlfriend! No! I think Miyo-chan's right on this one! Obviously, dating each other. Then getting calls from you seems more natural, I guess so. Uh, you too? You arrived at the same conclusion? I mean, I feel really bad for Mio-chan seeing her like this. And still, becoming your sister. And yet, I already know that feeling. Being pampered by you, Yoma-san. I can't live without your cuddles, Yoma-san. Referring to my name nonchalantly. Well, casually blurting out something unbelievable really is just... That's why I really would want to date you. I mean, if that's okay with you, Yoma-san. Mio, you're fine with that? If it's you two dating, then, like, it's not something I can complain about. It's better than losing my spot as your little sister. Plus, I really care about Mio-chan, too. I see. Well, then we could try dating, I guess. I mean, you're kind of cute too, Misa-chan, so... <laughs> I'm so happy! Please give me lots of cuddles, okay? Hey, don't be so clean all of a sudden! Aw, but I'm your girlfriend already, so something like this should be fine, right? <laughs> no! Big Bro's gonna prioritize my cuddles whenever I'm with him. Ah, that's unfair, Mio-chan! See, I'm his dearest sister. Big Bro's gonna treat his sister way too special over his girlfriend. Um, that's not quite right. Okay, we'll ask Big Bro then. Agreed. What? Big Bro, Yama-san. Which, Which one's special, special to you? you? Your, your sister, sister or, or your girlfriend? girlfriend? Uh, frankly, at this moment, Neo is simply my irreplaceable younger sister. 
one who I cherished all the time and holds the greatest importance than anyone else. However, Misa-chan was one who had just became my girlfriend. Hitting Misa-chan with this reality is gonna be cruel on her. And that, I don't think weighing the importance of my sister and my girlfriend something up for debate. Anyways, it's because I both cherish them a lot. Afterwards, I kinda weaseled my way out of this conundrum, and both of them noticed I was sorta distressed, so they made a deal. They somewhat wanted this thing equal portions of cuddles. So, in order for them to not get in any quarrels, I must pamper and spoil them equally, no more or less, from here on. Additionally, this now means I was keeping both the cutest and even the second cutest all to myself at school, so most of the dudes mark me as their mortal enemy. Ending this thing on this note's quite bothersome, but yeah, I couldn't care less, as I had these both precious and adorable girlfriend and little sister right by my side. I'm home. Welcome back. Dinner is ready. I see. I appreciate your thoughtfulness, but I'll pass. What? You don't need dinner today, too? Yes, I ate at a family restaurant with a friend. I see. Senpai, you don't have to prepare food for me. Excuse me. She hates me, doesn't she? I'm trying to treat her as a big brother would. My name is Shuichi Ito. I'm in the middle of having an elegant lunch by myself, undisturbed. I suppose you could say I'm having a lonely, solitary meal. I'm used to not having anyone invite me. It's not like I have the guts to invite anyone either. Today's bento is good if I do say so myself. As I'm praising myself inwardly, I overhear a nearby conversation. That new student, isn't she really cute? Oh, that's Shiori Ito, isn't it? She's head and shoulders above the rest. There's a lot of talk about her. I don't have any friends, but I hear about Shiori-san often. She stands out, doesn't she? Less than a month has passed since she entered the school. She's making a name for herself as the most beautiful girl in the school. I'm not particularly noticeable, but I know Shiori Ito. We're beyond that. I mean, we live together. It all started a few months ago. I'm home! I'm getting remarried, so say hi! What is this old man saying as soon as he gets home? And this is your new mother-to-be. Nice to meet you. Oh, this one is called Shiori-chan. It will be your sister. Please be good to her. Nice to meet you. What? I don't understand. Why have we gained two new family members? Sorry to surprise you. I got remarried without a hitch. That's right. It's hard to believe that everything went smoothly soon soon after we met. And even so... It's so sudden, all this. <laughs> it's difficult to explain, as I figured just go with the flow. Uh, that's no good father. He's always been like this. Um, you're Shiori, right? I'm sorry my dad's like this. Don't apologize. I don't mind. My mother is a very strange person, too, for the most part. She's like a robot replying without emotion. Man, she looks like an idol. I'm gonna share my life with such a cute person. I don't think we'll get along. Um, could you please stop staring at me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be careful now that I'm gonna be an older brother. Uh, for the record, I'm not very good with men. Huh? So if you can live with me at an appropriate distance, as if you're a stranger and not my brother, I would appreciate it, senpai. Yep, I don't think we could get along. Well then, Mom, now I've shown my face, I'm heading home first. Ah, she's gone. I'm sorry, Shoichi. Despite her look, she can be a bit childish. If you could look after her carefully as an older brother, it would help this new mother a lot. As an older brother, I understand. That was my intention too. I'm sorry, but please take care of her for us, as we're busy. And although I agree to take care of Shiori-san, you made dinner? I ate out with my friends, so I don't need it. I see. Or rather, uh, please don't make me say it over and over again, senpai. I don't want my portion. Well then? This girl doesn't need me to take care of her, does she? Months have passed since then, and my relationship with Shiori hasn't gotten any better. Conversation is minimal. 
She is settled on calling me senpai. We don't make eye contact, and she doesn't eat the meals I make for her. Oh, we shouldn't go on like this, but what should I do? <laughs> hmm? I heard a strange voice coming from Shiori's room next door. I wonder what's going on. This is the first time I've heard voices coming from her room. Shari san, I heard you groaning. Are you okay? It's nothing. Just don't worry about it. Don't mind it. Of course I'll mind if I can hear groaning even to the walls. Maybe she's hurt somewhere or is hiding a health problem. Anyway, I'm coming over here now. Huh? Wait, wait. Don't come over now, senpai. Are you okay? A gurgling sound in her stomach replied instead. That's why I told you not to come. Your stomach was growling. I thought you'd eaten. I didn't eat. I went to a family restaurant with my friends and I was the only one who stuck to the drink bar. Her stomach rumbled as if to say, I'm hungry as you can see. Oh, but why did you lie about eating with friends? The reason I lied was... Uh, uh, I'm sorry for trying to force it out of you. If you don't want to tell me, that's okay. I'm sorry I stepped in even though you don't like men. As your family, I'll always be here for you. So let me know when you're ready to talk about it. Well then, good night. Uh, wait, I'm on a diet. Huh? Diet? You must be choking. You're already skinny enough. Her legs that stretch out from her loungewear were slender and beautiful. I actually have a tendency to gain weight. I even gained 2.8 kilograms recently. What? Isn't that an error? Just round it off at zero kilograms. That's the kind of statement that makes enemies of distressed girls of the world. You starting a fight? How about we settle this outside? I was wrong. I choose peace. But even if you're trying to lose weight, it's not a good idea to go hungry and not eat anything. Don't worry, I have a track record of losing weight by skipping dinner. Besides, I can handle this much. <laughs> Your stomach is so honest. Hold on, Shiori. I'll make you something now. But I... I don't want to consume many calories. Now that I know that, it's fine. I'll keep the calories in mind. Then, I'll go cook something right away, so endure it until then. So I made a few simple dishes from recipes on the net. Uh, thank you very much. This is me with sauce on it. You conspired against me, haven't you? How dare you show us such a tasty looking lump of calories! You're so angry that you're in tears? Look closely. This is a tofu steak, so it's low in calories. You're right. I'm so hungry. I can hardly think properly. Try to calm down and eat first. I'm sure it turned out well. Um, just one bite. Thank you for the food. Oh. <gasps> Delicious! It's so good! It's bringing me back to life! I can't stop eating! You're over-exaggerating! Hunger is the best seasoning, huh? Thank you for the food! I cannot stop eating! It was very delicious! And I'm glad! I hope you'll try some of the regular food when you're done with the diet! Well, thank you, senpai. I mean, big brother. What? Sure, son, you just called me... Because, because, I couldn't possibly act like a stranger when I'm served such delicious food. I'm sorry for being so rude to you just because I'm not good with men. From now on, please be good friends with this no good sister. Of course! I'm looking forward to working with you from now on, Shiori-san. Man, it was really good. I can eat such wonderful food every day, right? I'll have to work hard on my diet. Yeah, I'll be rooting for you. If there's anything I can do, I will support you as much as I can as a family member. Oh, you said it, huh, big brother? You said you'd support my diet and help me lose weight. What? I have a bad feeling about this. Sorry, son, wait. <coughs> I can't run anymore. What? It hasn't even been 15 minutes since we started the early morning run. I'm dying. I'll become a skeleton before my stepsister loses weight. I'm actually really bad at exercising. Go on without me. I'm not actually going anywhere. Here, give me your hand. 
I get motivated to exercise when I have someone by my side to do it with. For now, let's stand up, okay? Yes, thank you. I've never touched a girl's hands before. They're so soft. If exercise is not your thing, let's switch to walking. I'll pace myself with you, brother. I'm really sorry for dragging you down. And I'll do my best for you, Shiori-san, since you're doing your best too. Uh, stop saying cool things so casually. Huh? What? It's nothing. Come on, brother. You walk so fast. I mean our hands. Hands! They're still connected! Ew, I'm tired of walking. I think next is school. Yeah, here's your lunchbox. What? When did you prepare it? It's a simple dish, but I hope you like it. Oh, uh, thank you very much. I've only had onigiri for lunch lately. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I hope Shiri's friends don't tease her because I made the bento. <laughs> um, I was wondering, for today's lunch? I never thought I'd be eating in such a discreet place with the most beautiful girl in school. I wanted to avoid having my friends ask me who made the lunch. They already know my mother and I can't cook, so... Sorry. Eh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. There's nothing wrong with it. Except for the proximity and the strain this situation is putting on my heart. Shiori-san eats more and more without stopping her chopsticks. I'm so happy. Her cheerful expression matched her statement. It makes me happy to see her eating so happily. Making it was worthwhile. Um, big brother, I'm looking forward to dinner tonight too, okay? Yep, leave it to me. And that's how Shiori and I began to work together every day. We would go for a walk together in the morning. We made lunch together at noon. And at night, we cooked together. It was hard, but we were beginning to enjoy this routine. Until one day... As usual, I was eating in an inconspicuous place when the boys in my class approached me. Yo, Shuichi! Huh? You're the kid in the same class. What's wrong? There's a rumor going around that a guy is hiding and eating lunch with Shiori Ito. To think it was you, Shuichi! What's the relationship between you two? Are you guys dating? Um, that is... Uh... I felt like something was stuck in my throat. I can't get the words out. Why am I always like this? We are simply siblings, what of it? You guys are seriously siblings? So you're not dating then? If that's the case, would you like to go out to dinner with me sometime, Miss Ito? No, I don't like guys other than my brother. I'd appreciate it if you disappear. Ugh. Hey, you okay? Shit, he got hit with a deadly verbal blade. Stay with me, man! Thanks for the help, Shiori-san. I'm not very assertive. You were in the right place at the right time, brother. I lost a lot of weight in case I got into trouble with guys. Oh, what do you mean by that? Um, it's a dull story, but will you hear me out? Yes, I'd like to hear it. Turns out that Shiori-san, who loved to eat, was much fatter in elementary school than she is now. I remember when I would definitely get a second helping of school lunch. I can't imagine that now. <laughs> so the boys teased her every time she ate. I didn't want the boys to make fun of me anymore, so I resolved to lose weight and prove them wrong. I see, so that's why you started focusing on your diet. Yes, in fact, since losing weight, I gained a lot of confidence. I've gotten to the point where I can stand my ground when dealing with guys. But if I gain weight again, I might revert to the frail me from before. That's what I'm afraid of. It's all right. You'll be fine. I'm helping you to make sure that doesn't happen. Don't worry about it. Just eat a lot. I like the look on your face when you're eating happily. <laughs> you always say embarrassing lines like that. If you keep doing this, I'm going to fall more and more in love with you. Even though he's my stepbrother, still, he's family. I think we siblings have become even closer since that day. Big brother, let's go home together, shall we? Ah, Shiori! Of course! I'll get ready, so wait right there. After school, she sometimes comes to the classroom to ask me to hang out. She also started calling me by my first name. So we'd see that lucky guy. I wish I had a sister like her. She attracts the attention of everyone in class. 
but she doesn't mind. <laughs> You're still as noticeable as ever. I'm used to it. I simply ignore it. Let's just go already. I'll help you buy dinner tonight, okay? Okay? All right, calm down. Being pushed so hard by an underclassman is humiliating as a brother. Is that really how siblings behave? They look like a couple who just started dating. On our way home from grocery shopping. Ah, the jingle of a stone bait sweet potato stall. Oh man, my mouth is starting to cry sweet potatoes. Oh. Droll, you're drooling. I haven't had anything sweet in a while. <laughs> it's okay to buy a little bit, right? The devil's whispering. No, I must restrain myself in order to maintain my current weight. I see. I don't think holding out is doing you any good. Hey, how about making a cheat day? Isn't cheat day that thing where dieters are allowed to eat whatever they want for one day? Yes, it's not good to restrain yourself too much. Sure, he likes to eat, so why don't you give yourself a break once in a while? Oh, a cheat day might be a good idea. There's a parfait I want to eat at a restaurant my friend told me about. The kind with lots of toppings on it. Sounds good. Let's eat what we want and relieve our stress. Then let's go together this Sunday, Shoichi. Huh? You want to go with me? Wouldn't it be better to go with a friend? No, I want to go with my brother. Recently, Shiori's been very honest. That's how much he trusts me. Um, uh, did you not want to? I just assumed that since this is part of my diet, you'd agree. Now go. Since you want to try it, I'll hold off on the sweets too. And look forward to it. <laughs> Yay! I'm looking forward to it too. Sunday, as promised, we went out to eat the parfait, but... Thank you for your patience. Enjoy your special junk deluxe dream parfait. What arrived at our table was a massive parfait that looked too difficult to eat alone. Wow, it's overwhelmingly big. Will you be able to eat it all, Shuri? <laughs> no, I didn't know it'd be this big. I didn't do much research. A beautiful girl pair with a massive parfait really stands out. I overheard a man and a woman seated nearby conversing. Oh my god, look at that girl's parfait, isn't it huge? You're right, wow! Can't believe it, a cute girl like that can eat a huge parfait! <gasps> no, I would have ordered this, I know it was going to be this big! That's not what it looks like! Don't look at me, please don't look at me! Her voice sounded like that, I'm a mosquito. Sure, I must be remembering her former self. I came here to see her. My dear sister's happy smile. Shuri, let's eat it together. It's our one month anniversary after all. Uh, what? Yeah, we've been dating for a month, so we ordered this big parfait to celebrate, right? Uh, what's the matter all of a sudden? I mean, your voice is a little loud. Sorry, but I think we've convinced everyone around here. How boring. They're just gonna eat it together as a couple. Well, I mean, it makes sense. I figured a couple eating to celebrate the anniversary would attract less attention than a cute girl with a big appetite, right? Uh, so that's what you're up to. I'm sorry you had to yell for me. Nah, don't worry about it. I didn't want to see you look so down. So I came all this way to see you eat your favorite food, after all. <laughs> Saying such things again. If that's the case, I'm going to make you pretend we're a couple. Here. Uh... I don't think we have to go that far. Come on, senpai. Aww. After that, we frantically fit each other the massive parfait. Uh, I'm in pain. I managed to eat it all, but I think I'm done with the sweets for the time being. <laughs> Me too, but it was good, wasn't it, senpai? A cheerful smile. I'm glad I was able to see it. You seem to be in a good mood. Hang on, Shiori. Why did you revert to addressing me as if I were a stranger? Oh, I like it better this way, senpai. Oh no. Then I have to work hard to be recognized as an older brother by Shiori again! If you say so. <laughs> then, let's work hard on my diet together, okay, senpai? My heart inadvertently skipped a beat by the sister who smiled so seductively. Uh, well, too bad I don't intend to give in and call you that. Because I realize that I don't want to be your sister. I want to be your lover. 
In my company, there's a beautiful girl who's my colleague. Madoka, let's go out for lunch. Yeah, what do you want for lunch today? I've only talked to her a little bit, and I never thought I would get close to her. Madoka? We're a couple, so call me by my first name, okay? Uh, yeah, Madoka-san. <laughs> Who would have thought we'd become a couple? And I was about to go meet her parents now. I'm Shinji Toby, 20 years old. I'm an indoor person, so I spend most of my days off at home. On this day, I received a phone call from my mother in the countryside in the afternoon. Remember Emmy, who is one year younger than you? She's getting married. Oh, that's great news. So, what about you? Me? I'm doing okay. At my age, this kind of topic comes up a lot. I'm not in a hurry, but people around me are getting impatient with this whole marriage thing. You're 28 years old. You should think about getting married too. I'll send you a picture. I'm busy with work, so... Then, why don't you try a blind date? I know a girl who's looking for someone. A blind date, huh? I know you don't want to go on a blind date, but this is one way to find someone too. My mother is always pushing for blind dates. I've had enough of this, but I don't think she's going to give up this time. If I have to come up with a reason to say no... I'm not thinking about marriage, but I'm dating someone. That's a lie. Hey, why do you assume it's a lie? Don't underestimate your parents. We know about our kids. I do, I'm serious. Then, show me proof. Okay, okay, I'll send it to you now. So, in order to turn down the blind date, I sent a picture of myself with a certain woman to my mother. And you sent a picture of Saigusa Zone. Yeah. A few days later, I was sharing my regrets with my colleagues who were having a drink. I know I kind of deceived my mom, and I don't think Saigusa san would feel good if she knew that I used her picture without her permission. But Doka Saigusa. She had a reputation within the company for being the most capable person among her peers at work. And on top of that, she's beautiful and good-natured. Even now, people were gathered around her as she smiles at them. In other words, I sent a photo of someone who's too good for me. What's going on? What are you talking about? Did you just mention my name? Well, um... Go ahead, be honest and apologize. I'll go deal with the boss. My colleague got up from his seat after saying that. It's just me and Saigusa's son. Awkward. Come to think of it, we haven't talked much since our initiation ceremony, even though we joined the company at the same time. Y yeah. There aren't too many people our age, so feel free to talk to me more from now on. She's such a nice person. I feel so guilty. Uh, there's one thing I have to apologize to you, Saigusa-san. What? To me? Actually, my mother called me the other day. I was overwhelmed with guilt, so I confess and apologize for using Saigusa-san's picture without permission. I see. So, to your mother, I'm Tobe Kun's girlfriend. I'm really sorry. I can't go on like this, so I have to call my mom and tell her it was a lie. Uh, oh, wait a second. Then let's just leave it as is. What? As is? That I'm Tobe Kun's girlfriend. What? I was surprised by the unexpected turn of events. A few days later, I was about to meet Saigusa san's parents. It's huge! This is your parents' house? Um, is your family rich by any chance? I'm keeping it a secret from everyone, but I'm the daughter of the president of a real estate company called Three Branches. Um, Sagusa san, I, uh. Ma, do, ha, we're a couple, so call me by my first name, okay? Uh, yeah, Madoka san. Then, I'll call you Shinji kun from now on. I'm getting extra nervous. Nice to meet you, only Madoka's father. I'm her mother. It's nice to meet you, Tobe-san. Nice to meet you. My name is Shinji Tobe. <laughs> you don't have to be nervous. Please, make yourself at home. Madoka-san's parents are very welcoming. I spoke nervously and awkwardly, but told them about Madoka-san's reputation at the company. Oh, I see. 
Madoka is working hard. Yes, she's the best among her peers. Oh, stop it. I'll bring some more tea. Madoka, go help her. Oh, okay. Oh man, it's just me and President Saigusa. What is it about Madoka that you like, Shinji? Well, uh, it's man to man, don't hesitate to tell me. Is this a test? Her charming smile and the fact that she's very diligent and hardworking. Diligent and hardworking. As I said before, our boss has high hopes for her in terms of work. Hmm, I see. Is something wrong? I have three daughters. The younger two married early and are living well. I see. But Madoka is the only one who seems to be obsessed with her work. As a parent, I was concerned. Obsessed? Well, I'm sure she'll be fine with a nice young man like you by her side. Please take good care of Madoka from now on. Y yes. It still pains me to have to lie. Or lie. It was when we were having a drink the other day. What? Pretending to be a couple? Yeah, my parents are always asking me about marriage. I'd be happy if I could ask you to pretend to be my boyfriend. No, but I don't think I'm good enough. You used my picture, didn't you? Then I think you owe me a favor. Okay. So, um, can you meet my parents sometime? What? It's like Goose of Sun's parents? Yeah, I think my mom and dad will be relieved to know that I have a boyfriend. I knew I should have said no. How are my mom and dad? They were very good parents, really supportive of their daughter. I talked to your father, and he was worried about you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you through all of this. No, I'm the one who used your picture in the first place. I'm more curious. Aren't you planning on dating someone? Me? No. Work is my priority right now. I wonder why Madoka-san puts so much into her work. Then, a few days later, I never thought Madoka-san would invite me out. On my day off, I was waiting for Madoka-san in front of the station. She said she wanted to thank me for the other day, and that she wanted to go for a uh, refresher. Hmm. Thinking about it now, isn't this a date? What's wrong? Your face is all red. Whoa! Madoka-san? Since when were you behind me? Don't talk to me like I'm a ninja. You didn't even notice I was talking to you. Oh, is that right? <laughs> this is just a refresher. She'll thank me and that should be the end of it. Wait, your face is all red. Is something wrong? What? I it's nothing. Really? Okay, let's go. Then we headed to the amusement park. I hadn't been to an amusement park since the high school field trip. It was the same for Madoka-san, too, and we were both back to being kids again. How about we go on the ride over? Yeah, let's go, let's go! Wow, it's so high! It's a nice view, I thought to myself as I watched her excitedly. Looking at her like this, she's just a normal girl. I don't get the image of her working hard at the office. Really, I wonder why Madoka-san is so obsessed with work. Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, no, I was thinking about what to do after. How about we have dinner and then go home? Yeah! Oh, that was close. This was not a good time to ask. Then we took the train. I guess she was tired. Madoka san started sleeping on my shoulder. <laughs> she has a beautiful sleeping face. If only such a person would really become my girlfriend. Oh, how I wish. I continued to lend her my shoulder until the train arrived at its destination. I can't believe I fell asleep. Was my sleeping face weird? No, not at all. It was just a little bit different from your usual image. I guess you can say defenseless? What kind of image do you have of me, Shinji? Hmm, someone who works really hard, I guess. I do wonder why you work so hard, but... Just like that, I asked her why she was so obsessed with her work. Well, this is going to sound a little romantic, but... The men who have approached me in the past have only seen the superficial aspects of me, like my looks, or the fact that my father is the president of a company and rich. So, when I first joined the company, I wanted people to look at me for who I am. So, I want to be admired for my work or my personality. Something like that. 
It was a hardship I didn't understand. Apparently, being beautiful and rich has its hardships too. But I kind of understood why Madoka-san was so obsessed with her work. But, you know, I'm finally getting a chance. They're going to let me take on a small project soon. That's great, congratulations! It's related to your department too, so if we end up working together, I'm going to need your help. Of course, if there's anything I can do! As a thank you for the other day, here's a tie. Use it if you like. Thanks. After that, I asked the head of the department to let me join Madoka-san's project. Simply because I wanted to get to know her better. A short time later, Madoka-san launched a new project. She was in charge of a team that crossed over to other departments. Some of them volunteered like me, and some of them were sent by their bosses. Madoka-san was trying to organize them as a leader. Sagusa-san, can you be more specific about what you just said? Um, that's in the file, and... Of course, she's not perfect. She would get pointed out from time to time, which made her fluster on a rare occasion. You'll find the details on the seventh page. Oh, here it is. The supplement information is on a separate sheet as well. Thank you. Good thing I helped her organize the documents yesterday. Thanks, Shinji. No, no. Angie made eye contact with each other. I was supporting her and the project was going well. A few days after submitting the proposal... Our new project... was approved. Yay! I'm so happy! As one would expect from Madoka-san. This means that Madoka-san's new project will be successfully implemented. The trust and motivation of the colleagues who at first were feeling disunited was now high. It's a recognition of what she's built up, and a goal that's been achieved. I'm sure it will be even harder from here. But I'm sure that team will be fine. Shinji-kun! Uh, Madoka-san? I need to talk to you alone. That night, Madoka-san invited me out for a drink. I actually heard from everyone on the team that you were helping me behind my back. No, I really didn't do anything. Everyone told me that they talked to you when they had problems. Well, I guess they asked me for advice a few times. It might have been presumptuous, but I told them how you would have done it. Is that to reduce the burden on me? You had a lot to do as a leader, so... You've been supporting me behind my back this whole time. Well, we're colleagues after all. Um, that's it? That's it. No ulterior motive or anything. I see. But <laughs> I would have been happier if you had a little bit of an ulterior motive. What? Does that mean? Ever since I asked you to pretend to be my girlfriend, I thought that I may not be that strong. Maybe that's why I want to be spoiled by you, Shinji-kun. I want you, who's kind and dependable, to be by my side. Oh no, I'm just a regular guy, you know? You're special to me, at least. I'm honestly happy to hear that. I was going to tell you if this project was successful, but will you actually go out with me? The most beautiful girl in the company confessed her feelings to me. Before I knew it, I stopped looking at her as someone unattainable or too good for me. I want to continue to support you, Madoka. I also want to support you, Shinji. And so, we became a couple. I don't know if it's fair to say it came out of a lie, but there was one thing we had to settle. I am sorry for deceiving you! Dad, Mom, I'm sorry. Later, I went with Madoka-san to apologize for her parents. Even though it was to avoid marriage, I lied with Madoka-san. Then Madoka-san's parents... Well, well, both of you, hands up! The truth is, Dad and Mom knew about your lies from the very beginning. The problem lies with us. I'm sorry I ever rushed you into marriage, Madoka. Dad, Mom... But still, it seems Shinji-kun has kept his man's promise. He's been watching over Madoka and supporting her, hasn't he? I'm sorry for being an unworthy father who leaves everything to others, but I'm counting on you to take care of Madoka from now on. Yes, of course! Thus, our relationship was approved. After that, we went to my parents' house, explained the situation, and apologized. I guess they already knew I was lying. 
Like Madoka's parents, I gladly approved of our relationship. And it's been a year since I started dating Madoka. Congratulations on the success of your project! Congratulations on the marriage too! The new project was also executed smoothly and was a great success. We officially got married and... Now kiss the bride. Us who started from a lie pledged our true love to each other in front of God. Honestly, I never thought I'd marry such a wonderful person. But from now on, I want us to live together faithfully.